All right, then, Clem Hawkins back with you. <coughs> so we um, went into Walmart thinking I need food with calories and protein. For those aware, and I can't say I know anything really about food or nutrition, other than I don't get it. Uh, meaning the proper amounts and the normal recommended daily allowances or whatever the hell it is. But what I can tell you for sure is the biggest commodity next to sugar in the grocery store, if not surpassing sugar, is protein. Therefore, the most protein for the least amount of dollars is the best investment. Being aware that there are protein, there is protein in raisins, I look to get some raisin bread or raisin bagels. Because I wanted a bagel. And a bag of six bagels is three bucks. A bagel at well, Starbucks is a buck fifty. It gets toasted with a piece of cream cheese, but that's not the point of that matter. So I look at raisin bread and I define that raisin bagels have more protein in them than raisin bread so I grabbed the raisin bagels and I head to the poured rack the clearance rack at the back hoping that there might be something good there and I look at this and it's a wheat roll French wheat roll maybe I don't know it's this roll and it says it's got eight servings five protein grams that's 40 grams in that loaf so i got four of those for 41 cents a piece i got a can of tuna which might have 25 grams of protein in it for 78 cents i got a handful of mayonnaise and mustard packets to make uh uh tuna salad for those sandwiches and i got something else i can't remember what it was Oh, two things of chicken noodle soup because of that kid this morning. I figure maybe it's a, it's not bad. Those were 75 cents a piece, so for $4.80, I got food. And not sure, but the awareness is that needs to last at least a couple, three days. And uh, the only other thing I can probably afford is maybe gas, maybe food, maybe coffee and computer time. If I can't afford any of those things, and I've been there before, where shit, I had to make $2 last four days in uh, Walmart parking lot, Durango, weren't, wasn't even able to move the car, and I hated that. Because I figure if it's at least mobile, they're not likely to hassle you. But, back to the measure at hand, it's one o'clock, it's Wednesday, I might see money Friday, I might not see it till Monday, I might not see it, I really don't know. Um, it being one o'clock and the boat show starting tomorrow, we're not getting called for that. And although I did, a, pretty detailed analysis of all the scheduled events at the uh, convention center with the idea that that might be some potential work. Why do you get your signal on if you're not turning, dummy? Oh, there you go. So, yeah, the mission is to uh, maintain our state of mind, if, and that's not going to happen without weed. I've already smoked all of the ounce that I got around Christmas time right after Christmas so that lasted a good three weeks at least and I got maybe half a joints worth of roaches left which will have to go to the head at some point or another and then we deal with the uh, withdrawal syndromes of extreme anxiety extreme anger issues pissed off at fucking everybody and everything and by everybody and everything I mean God it's just my own fault I'm just too stupid or not being able to see the big picture but um, looking forward to a day I don't have to suffer 
But until then, here we are helping you suffer less by learning from our suffrage. Lesson number one, when you have $1,000 at the beginning of the month, don't think going to three different bars over five days is going to help you meet anybody worth meeting. All it's going to do is keep you drunk and maybe make you embarrass yourself so you don't want to go back. Just saying. I'm fortunate that way, I suppose. Even if I had money, none of the places that I've been regularly attending or going to do I have any interest in, mostly because I've learned that they're a waste of time. Bars predominate stupid people that don't particularly think and although I like bars and I do like to think and I'm not stupid and I'm not saying everybody that goes there is that way but that should be expected even if they were smart after a few drinks they're not going to be as smart as they were when they got there so no sense worrying and bothering about that this time or any other time in the future I suppose there is the whole point that the comedy deals are at bars and I don't want to go to a bar without a drink and I don't want to, I can't afford to drink, but I can't afford to not do stuff. So instead of being a stand-up comedian, I suppose I'm a sit-down podcaster philosophizer, making up words as I go and uh, hopefully dropping a few good hints. This morning was a pretty good writing session that I put up on the WordPress sit here driving my dog and myself to the park where he can walk and I can sit and be away from everybody else's thought bubbles oh yeah I took a picture of that but I didn't post it I'm liking the wordpress and the way that I can put a picture there and then put some words to it and then maybe what I do is uh, link link the picture to my other account so when people see the picture and they click on the link they will open the words and Maybe they'll have the time to read. I figure the majority of people, if the people that have time to read, if they're not, uh, then it's no sense. And the people that do have time to read and they're not, well, it don't make no sense neither. So put the message out there in whatever forms I can. This podcast is a way of putting that message out there when I'm not sitting at the keyboard. I'm actually writing like I talk, like those people in Santa Fe AA told me to do or suggested that I consider. But nonetheless, it feels like a uh, success in that I got multiple. If I, if I allow myself, I'm going to drink a can of soup. I'm going to eat a roll and maybe put some tuna on it. But I figure with the can of soup and the roll half a roll that might be enough of a meal then I have a can of tuna a can of soup and three and a half rolls no smoked fish for this monkey and maybe that's what Jesus and the disciples were all trying to tell everybody is you got to work together and They were traveling with nothing but the shirt on their backs and what was in their pockets. So here we are strolling. I keep thinking that you can see, because normally I have this thing spun around the other way. But I'm seeing this uh, green vehicle with the window shield. I see it here quite a bit. So I figure the guy that's in there is in there sleeping. I'm not the only monkey that's out here. I'm probably not the only one that wishes I had some type of a community but currently our community is disconnected via the internet but Elvis seems extremely desperate for business and the buffaloes are not hunkered down out there like they were yesterday yesterday I'll pull this over here yes I know I'm low on glass gas what the shit? Uh, it wants to go on low power.